Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our weekly angel reading for December 23rd through the 29th, 2013. And so I'd just like to start off by wishing everyone a happy holiday season. Um, I know we're all celebrating from our various traditions and with our families and having um, a special time. And so just like to just send you all the loving blessings from the angels for you and your family, that you will have abundance of joy and joyful celebrations and peace at this time. And so let's just tune into the energy of this week and take a moment to do that. And get a sense that we just all need to take a deep breath. And just slow down. Just take a moment to just slow down from all the hustle and bustle, and all the preparations that you've been making and for your family and your loved ones. And just know that the gift of love that you offer is the greatest gift that you could ever give. And that everything that is done through that love is going to be perfect and it's going to turn out and be received in with the love that you gave and that you're offering and that's what's most important right now that is the gift that we were born with as the angels are showing me right now as they're showing me an infant we were born with this gift we're created in this with this gift of love. And all we have to do is simply just keep rolling it out in every moment of our lives, through all of our actions, through all of our thoughts and our words, and through our purpose and our passions and our creativity. And if we just keep rolling it out, then everything will just come into alignment and we'll just feel or appear to overflow with, with harmony. And so as we're just looking, they're just showing me um, information that they just want to share with all of us for this week. And they want to recognize you, like they're showing me just a special award, so to speak, a trophy actually. They want to reward you and award you for your sharing your light in the world this year and just being so diligent to your path and committing to your relationship with Source and and also they're just writing, of course, Vortex and so they as you nurture your relationship with source, they're saying, this just opens the, the vortex and you allow so much of the blessings and the dreams and desires that you have to just come to you in a natural way. And I'm just asking you that even during this time to keep your heart very much wide open, don't let it shut down because remember that's where your abundance is. And this is what they're literally saying that your heart is where abundance lies. And so how we apply our heart to our lives, how we're doing that will give you feedback as to what you are allowing. So to allow your heart to be your guide is to allow abundance. And so just keep, it's kind of weird, they're kind of showing me almost like a fan. So just keep fanning the flames of your heart is what they're saying. Keep fanning the, your passions, keep at it, keep, be diligent about that. Let's take a look and see what message we 
have in the cards. And we're looking at the Archangel Oracle cards. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? This is the first thought I had was that we need to breathe. And here we have the Archangel Raphael. I just love when this kind of thing happens. So it says, take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. So the theme of this week is to really remember to breathe. Don't let anything get next to you. And if, as you're breathing, if you're just thinking that you're cycling, that you're keeping the flow, so that the in and the inhalation and exhalation is keeping the flow, the movement of life and love itself and abundance flowing for you. And it also aligns you with clear guidance that will give you steps to take in any certain, uh, any situation that you find yourself in. And so if you just keep aligned with your breath, almost like a meditation, meaning to keep your alignment with source and keep your heart and your mind focused on source and see the love and everyone this week. You know, we all have our weaknesses and we all have our um, human frailties. And we, we just have to remember that, you know, I'm hearing to air is human. Yes, and so it's kind of like we have to remember, you know, when we around our loved ones and, and all the people that we'll be sharing the holidays with. And sometimes, yes, certain people can trigger you. But we have to remember that we too, without really trying to put the, to do the wrong thing at times, make those kinds of mistakes, we often do those things without knowing them. And so likewise, you know, others may do the same without really knowing, whether it's intentional or not. When you align yourself with love, love is the only thing that can really solve and bring harmony where there's discord. And if you just stick to that, no matter what, and have compassion and understanding, then the situation or the persons involved, you will see a shift in that. Let me just tune into this card and just see if there's any additional messages that Archangel Raphael wants to bring forward for us. And what I'm really feeling is just that he's saying like they're just the angels are placing a platform, a new a new foundation beneath you. And they just really want you to be connected, to get really grounded into that platform of love. And to, he said, just to let go of any and all worries, especially about, he's showing me an egg with the number six over it, which means, you know, not to worry. So, you know, don't allow anything that you are currently, that's new or that's in development, in the de early developmental stages, don't worry about the outcome of those things. Let that go. Give it to the universe. The, everything is going to work out beautifully and it's going to be successful is what he's saying. So all you need to do is just know that you're on the right path to just know that the transformation is happening and to not hold on to any emotion or any emotions um, that are negative or let go of any past pain or hurt or feelings um, that cause you to feel vulnerable. Just know that in, everything is going to work out, that the momentum of the universe is behind you, even when you are not feeling that you are in full support of your own goals. Know that the, as, as long as you let go, that the great momentum of the universe will guide you at, and in the direction of manifesting your desires and dreams. Okay, so let's take a look at the card for the beginning of the week for Monday and Tuesday. All right, and so we have the Eight of Michael. And so this means right off the bat that, you know, um, I'm hearing, don't get caught up in any mental traps, okay? Don't, don't, 
allow others to bait you into situations or circumstances that are uncomfortable for you, that make you feel like you are um, setting yourself up is what I'm kind of hearing. You know, so don't set yourself up. Don't don't play into to the mental games of others. Um, I remember when I was teaching, um, one of the, I went to a workshop, uh, and this um, moderator, or whatever you call it, the, the workshop teacher, uh, said, "Don't pick up the rope." So you know, there are times when people. Um, or a student may tempt you because you know, they're trying to get attention, and she can, she kind of um, compared it to like to, you know tug of war. And what she said is what she was saying to us as teachers that we don't have to pick up that rope, um, we don't have to get in that struggle with with the student. And the same is true for us in life. We don't have to get in those struggles, and we have the choice. Remember that how we respond to any situation is our choice. We can either respond or react. And usually people react, and that's when it turns out, kind of things go sour. But when you respond, you are coming from a place of, of, of the observer, and you are allowing your the divine um, to guidance to give you feedback as to what is appropriate for you because that's what matters. And so really, just like Abraham says so many times, when you start to care more about how you feel than being right, even when you, someone is wronging you, it's, it's when you start to care about how you feel more than being right, that's when you really start to own your power and to start and you begin to really step into your truth and own it more and more. So the card says, you can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. So, you know, at the beginning of the week, no matter what's, what's going on, even if you're out there shopping and something goes wrong at the store and your preparations and everybody's running around, just remember everybody's running around and everybody's not being very clear headed. And so, you know, we're all kind of, when we get into that panic or fear, we automatically put on blinders. You know, that that's that's like putting on the shades of the ego and uh, uh, that's an automatic, you know, um, how do I want to say this? It's, it's like you're automatically giving permission for the ego to run, to run things. And so you don't want to do that. You want to really stay centered in your breath and grounded. Really breathe and know and keep reminding yourself that there's, there's a strong support of love coming um, from the universe beneath you. And so all you got to do is tune into that foundation. Think of it as like a foundation of a, a building. And every now and then just breathe and ground your energy into that foundation of love, of oneness that the universe has put in place. And breathe it up through your, your body, all the way up through your feet, all the way up and just relax okay let's take a look at the middle of the week and see what the card has to say we have another card from the air suit which is the michael so it says knight of michael it's a strong commitment intellectual and diligent and the message on the card says time to move quickly choose logic over emotion sudden changes so this is the middle of the week, which is going to be Christmas Day. So let's just tune in and see what is coming up in terms of the messages for this card. And I'm seeing, and this is kind of contradictory what I was, what we're, what we're being told here. So I'm, just, I'm, I'm seeing a, a bed, which you know, and a, a tree. So. Contrary to what the card is saying, I, I'm getting the sense that you need to take some time to really relax, um, really stay uh, 
keep your awareness open. So, so really stay tuned, stay tuned in, relax and stay tuned in to the universe to, you know, like you want to be in a, a neutral place um, of unconditional love and compassion, you know, no judgment, let all of that go. And so the sense is, is that, you know, things may be kind of fast paced on this day with different things that you're doing and entertaining. But again, the message is really for you to stay, um, to relax as much as possible. So to, you know, keep monitoring your, your, your energy levels and making sure that they are peaceful and restful. Um, calm and tranquil. And, and so try to create an atmosphere for yourself and for everyone that is especially tranquil. So you may want in your preparations, you may want to um, have some soothing music or candles um, that is around sort of um, to give that feeling of relaxation. And really try to keep everyone's focus on the real true meaning of the holiday season, which is something we should be doing every day of our lives. And, and just keep that in mind as well as you're doing this. Usually, um, you know, a knight is someone who's very valiant and um, it's all about chivalry and, um, and, and, you know, taking action. So be be the knight of love in a sense you know really um really be someone who is noble in this act of love and sharing this and 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 not get caught up in all the mental chaos so since we're just seeing you know a lot of air signs and even our um our oracle card is about the air about breathing so we it's almost like we're using the energy the air element in a way that can bring calm that can smooth things over like a gentle wind is what we want to um create so like a meditative breath throughout the the week so far let's take a look at the card for the weekend okay and here we come back with this green energy again and the emerald green and Archangel Raphael for um, the weekend. And it's the first time this card has come up and it's a five of Raphael. And it says, everything happens for a reason. Isn't that true? Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. So when I, I saw this card, it feels like, you know, sometimes after all of the preparations and everything, we need time, obviously, to recuperate. And, you know, some we kind of can be, I'm getting, I'm hearing, this is more about not being too critical on your, too hard on yourself. Sometimes um, you have these expectations about how you wanted things to be. And people were happy, but because you had these expectations, you view it. Your perspective is um, more critical. And so you kind of may um, get a little down or and out about how things turn out when in actuality, everyone was just, you know, happy and just to be. And so don't don't focus so much on all of the 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 little fine details that you want it to come off in just a certain way um pay attention to the whole pay attention to the whole and you know whatever happens throughout this whole week this would be a great time to just again to reflect back and what could you have what what did you learn and what could you learn to let go of for the following year that is not necessary for, for you to to do, which could give you more uh, peace and harmony. And so that you won't be so emotionally 
um, drained and burned out. So I'm just getting more about this card is that you kind of drained yourself a bit emotionally and, you know, you need to um, just relax and not be critical and just, you know, get some, some, some healing time in. All right, let's take a look and see what the card is. I already pulled it That's on the bottom of the deck for this week. And the card is New Beginnings. Okay, so this is the underlying message for the entire week. So it says starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. And we have the Archangel Yeramayel. So it's kind of almost... I'm, Kind of drawn more to the last sentence here, forgiving and compassionate review of the past, what I was just talking about. Um, in order, what, like, what do you, and we, you know, what do you need to let go of? Um, not only for this time of the year, for next year, in preparation for the next year, but what can you let go of in general um, that comes up at this time of the year that you don't need any longer? You know, and so this is an opportunity for you to um, forgive and um, let the compassion, let compassion really uh, monitor your your experience in this week. And I'm getting a sense that we really just need to be compassionate and very forgiving to for the entire week in general, whatever goes on with family members or friends, just let it all go and let things just kind of flow and fall into place as they would naturally and be the observer of what is happening. You know, sometimes you get to see when you look at it from a different perspective other than your own expectations, then you get a better understanding of others and where they're coming from and where they're going and when they, where they like to be when they're with you. So this is a time to really just, again, this whole week is about taking a deep breath. And in that breath, you align yourself with love and remove yourself from your own agenda, which oftentimes, even though we, we think that we're doing it for all the right reasons, it still is ego related. And a lot of things that, that we do are just are not necessary and they don't we don't need them. And so this is a good time to reevaluate um, as you're going through the experience. Just be open to how am I learning? What am I learning here? And so it's kind of like we've had for the last three weeks a card that is asking us to learn through, from our experiences. And, and this is going to be, I think, the hallmark of beginning a new year um, as we move forward as we are transitioning out of the old and moving into the new we can't really move forward if we're dragging the old and so we have to be very focused and very aware and i think that's what that image i was getting from, uh, before was trying to tell us we, we want to apply as much awareness to our lives so that we can truly grow spiritually and and as it says and that's starting a new life and that's how we do it okay so i send you so much love i thank you for your um because we have like i guess this will be this is the last week in 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 the in the year although we'll probably have two days um in the next reading for the week but for the holiday seasons and uh, thank you all for this year for your subscriptions to my channels on Facebook, all your likes, and for joining me on the, for the daily readings. I hope that you experience a great deal of joy and um, awareness through these weekly readings. And I am just so happy to be here to be able to offer um, these messages from the angels. And so I send you love and greetings and bless and blessings to you and your family and hope that this week, that especially, you have a, a peaceful and relaxing and enjoyable holiday season. Until next week.
God bless you.